This is periwinkle. Let's take a close look at the flower. There's one, two, three, four, five petals, and they're sort of that bluey purple. Really dark green leaves. It's small, so here's my hand for some scale. Okay, so take a look at the leaves. And it sends out these little runners. Okay, so you'll see these runners. So if you do want to uh, remove it from your yard, you basically sort of have to dig around in the roots. Some of this can just be pulled now, and you can always wait until uh, another rainstorm before digging out. It's always easier to dig out roots after a rainstorm. Now, this is in Hampton Park, and this got in here through uh, decades of dumped garden waste. But the problem with removing it in here is that we have to be very careful that we're not removing this, which is trout lily. And at this stage, trout lily is pretty much going uh, down. It's dying back into the soil. And you're going to see these sort of like little worm-like roots. They're very, very white where the trout lily is. So again, if you are removing it from a place like Hampton or any natural area that has native species in amongst it, you really need to sort of be very, very careful that you aren't digging out what you want to keep and you're digging out what you want to get rid of.